Hello everyone, Guy Smith here, and today we're doing something a little bit different again. Uh, well, technically not different. Um, <laughs> uh, I just signed into the game. Um, have to record my full screen. There isn't any options for this game. It's sort of a simplistic game. It's called The Plan, as I can see here. Um, hang on, give me a moment. There we go. Doors actually shut now. Alright, now, there's a bit of a story to this game. Largely, the fly, which is right here, is contemplating its meaningless, in quotes, existence. Um, it feels that it isn't very significant in the grand scheme of things, but it intends to do something that no other fly has done. Well, obviously, fly higher than any fly has ever done before. Um, so, that's basically what you're doing in the game. There's not a lot to the game. It's kind of simple, and it is uh, more of a game where you reflect on it yourself and not necessarily from the opinion of other people. Uh, I probably will add a little bit of personal opinion uh, at the end, but I won't add any commentary when I go through and actually play the game. Now, the game itself is rather short, uh, it only takes a couple of minutes to actually get through it. Um, there is music that goes along with it, so that's why I'm recording System Sound, and I usually don't, um, just because I get this really weird uh, playback of my actual voice when I do. I don't know how to turn that off. It actually turns off my System Sound when I do that. Uh, I don't know why. It just the audio mixer and the way it's organized, I guess, kind of sucks. But anyway, I guess I'll turn off my voice and actually play the game. Um, then I will show you, then I'll not show you guys, tell you guys what I personally think and feel. Um, yeah, so let's see how this fly does on its journey to fly and soar higher than any other fly has done before.
Okay then. I've gone through this before, but... It, I think it's more emotional the second time. Especially because you know what's gonna happen. Well, in the end, I think the fly did it. To a degree. Almost. Maybe. Um... You go through a wide range of, of emotions in this. All the little gusts of wind, the things that are trying to push you over to the side to something else. That's what it, I feel like it compares to. The leaves are the things that are trying to block your way, that can push you down, that you have to go around. The wind you just have to push on forward, push on through. Upwards, I guess. Um, in the end, it was sort of going around about going back and forth and around just because I felt like it. Not necessarily because I had to, because I felt like I was being blocked by obstacles. No. Um, also, at the very last part, uh, for the last couple of seconds um, of the fly going up, it's actually automatic. The fly goes to the center and then will, no matter what, fly into the little light bulb. Hmm. Actually, it would be big. Because it seemed kind of large compared to the fly. Hmm. And the last little typing bit, that was actually me. That's actually the player's uh, choice. You can write something. Um, I wrote before... Um, the first time I went through it, I forget what I wrote. Um... Actually, no. Yeah, I think I wrote the same thing. Pretty sure I did. I was thinking I wrote something slightly different, but no. No, I think I wrote the exact same thing as I did when I first went through this. It's sort of a play on emotions. It's, like I said, a play on emotions. It's literally a roller coaster through the end of a fly's life. Um, I think it's a she. Uh, she ends up going beyond what would be comprehensible, and to inevitably her demise. So, it's a little sad. Okay, not just a little. It is quite sad. And, um, hopefully, hopefully, I do not get copyright for that music that's in the game. Um, the music is really, really, uh, beautiful, and I love it. It is just so nice. Uh, it's so touching, and it builds up dramatically to the end. The ambience, and then the basic music starts, and then the actual orchestra starts playing. The credits are right here for all the little um, things. This was actually a side project, uh, project originally. I think it was about two years ago when Among the Sleep was being developed. These are the same people who made Among the Sleep, for those of you who have watched other YouTubers play Among the Sleep. Um, they have largely the emotionally driven kind of thing, uh, Crowbyte Studio, uh, yeah, pretty sure that's how it's said, Crowbyte Studio, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, um, like I said, little credits are here, um, huh, Apparently they had something there, but it crashed my game. Welp. Darn. Here's my full desktop now. Brilliant. Again, crashes at the end of an episode. That's kind of sad. Uh, but I don't think the developers are about to change the plan. Um, that's what it is, the plan. This little icon here. Um, I will be releasing this a little while from now. Uh, it's... Like I said, it's an emotionally driven game. It's a little roller coaster of emotions, and it goes through things like uh, hope, determination, a little bit of despair at the end, um, regret, definitely. It's like the stages of grief happen afterward. Not necessarily in full, but to the simpler extent. 
you regret and, well, sort of the stages of grief when you regret doing something. That's the kind of thing. Stages of regret. Regret and then despair for what you did, and then later you accept it, I guess? It's sort of a play on that, um, I think. It's different for everyone's uh, opinion and viewpoint. Um, no, I will not be playing that on my channel. Or that. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, and tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, like, what emotions you experienced. Like, I don't know, just sort of explain your viewpoint. What you feel is meant to be there. It is largely left to the player. It isn't exactly explained. That's why you type it up. I think that's something that ends up going to the devs, the developers, uh, in the end. I don't know. Uh, also, sorry, this is a full window capture. Uh, I don't have a 16x9 monitor, and I had to use full window capture because there's no settings for this game to allow me to be, put it into a window mode where I can capture it in uh, 720x1280. Oh well, uh, anyway, again, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, leave likes, subscribe if you want to see more games, uh, again, comment below what you think, uh, recommendations for games are also always open, I will always take them, uh, free games especially, yeah, uh, paid for games, I will see about those, if I am interested enough, I might just get it and play it on my channel because I got it, uh, but... Yeah. So, anyway, thanks again. This is like a third time uh, for watching, and I will see you later. Until next time, take care. See you guys. Bye!